Carlton Malcolm is described as being 5 foot 11, 150 pounds, and was last seen wearing a dark colored Adidas tracksuit, and was last seen westbound on Kingston Road on foot. It was an argument between two brothers, according to Toronto police, that led to calls of a shooting. Police say when they responded to the scene, they found 27-year-old Christopher Malcolm with gunshot wounds. He would later die in hospital. On Saturday, September 21st, 2024, at approximately 11 p.m., police responded to a call for a shooting in the Kingston Road and Markham Road area. Police would not confirm if the two men lived in the apartment complex where the shooting happened last night. However, they did explain why emergency task force officers showed up to the building. I I believe at the time they were concerned that or they didn't have the information that the suspect had actually left the area and so they were just ensuring that uh, the suspect wasn't inside the building. So far this year there has been 63 homicides and more than 30 gun related deaths. In 2023 there were 73 homicides and 29 gun related deaths. Advocates say more needs to be done to address this issue. Last night tragedy and shooting in Scarborough is another heartbreaking reminder of gun violence at a pledge in our community. At this time, what we need, we need investment into the grassroots organization to focus on the mental health, employment, and housing. We have a significant crisis that's going on in our community, and it's going to be getting worse. If we look at the pattern that's what's been going on in the United States, we're having that pattern trickle right here in our backyard. Richard Miller of the nonprofit organization Keep Six says that it's imperative now that not only community members, but law enforcement and all levels of government come together to curb this ongoing issue of gun violence in our communities.